This is Gary Hines of the three-time Grammy Award-winning Sounds of Blackness. Please stand by for Season 8 of Let's Talk to the Lord, Gospel Radio Show, created and hosted by Apostle John E. Ross. Trying to do what's right, but it in life certain situations come and you feel like giving up but I'm so glad we have a God who will never give up on you sing sis have you ever thought of giving up but you didn't you never gave up thought of giving up but you didn't you never gave up thought of giving up but you didn't yeah. Trials come, but you didn't. Temptation came from within, but you didn't. Thought of Blessings, grace, and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Jesus the Christ. I am your gospel radio apostle, Apostle John A. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead apostle and founder of Omega International Prophetic Ministries. Thank you for tuning in for Season 8 and the new beginnings of Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. And Kingdom, our guest for this episode in Season 8 of Let's Talk to the Lord is gospel recording artist, speaker, author, chef, and caterer, Daryl Izzard. Brother Daryl Izzard, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. 
Good morning, all. Good morning, Apostle Ross. Thank you for this opportunity, um, and God bless. Amen. And before we begin our discussion, please share with the kingdom a little more about you. Who is Daryl Izzard? So, um, Daryl Izzard is, as you said, I'm a chef, I'm a motivational speaker, preacher, recording artist, and songwriter. Um, but more than that, I'm, I'm a child of God, and um, I really love God. I'm, I'm just so thankful for what he is doing and all that he has done in my life. Um, I'm one who uh, I enjoy encouraging others um, by my social media posts or in person, et cetera. Um, that is my purpose is to encourage people and um, let them know that they can, no matter what they what happens in life, they can keep on keeping on um, in spite of it. Amen. And Brother Israel, please share with the kingdom your testimony of repentance and your journey to relationship with our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Um, so uh, I got saved and baptized when I was about 12 years old in, um, in the Baptist church where I grew up in. And um, But before then, I always knew the Lord was dealing with me even as a young child. Um, this, my grandma bringing me to church and um, choir rehearsals. I remember, for instance, when she would bring me to choir per- rehearsal, I was very young, but I would sit out in the audience while they were rehearsing, and I'd be behind a director directing, uh, mocking her directing um, at a very early age. And um, so as I, when I got about maybe about six or seven, eight, uh, they was, the director went to my grandma and said, you ought to let him come up here and sing with us. And she said, oh, he's too young. And they said, no, he's not. And so I've been singing in the choir ever since, and... Um, as I said, I, when I was 12, I got saved, and um, yeah, I, I love the Lord, and uh, I'm just so glad that I uh, received him in my, in my life because I know I couldn't make it on this journey without him. Amen. So, Brother Izzard, what is your status now in the body of Christ and in the kingdom of God? My status now is I'm saved. I'm sanctified, and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, and um, I'm an ordained minister who's, um, if the Lord's will, by the end of the year, I'll be installed as youth pastor for the church I I am a part of, and I'm just very active in the church. Um, Working with young people is my passion, um, because a lot of them don't don't really like to go to church. So I'm just trying to get that spunk back into them and let them know that you can be a Christian, and it doesn't have to be born. You still uh, can have fun, but you just have to do it the right way. But you got to have the Lord on your side. You got to have the Lord in your heart. So that's where I'm at now. Amen, amen, and amen again, brother Izzard. Please, sir, announce our topic, begin our discussion, and let's go to the Word of God. So our topic is going to be overcoming opposition. And um, this topic is very dear to my heart. Um, I wrote a book entitled Overcoming Opposition, And basically what it deals with is um, different trials and tribulations that we as people go through but may be ashamed to discuss. And many of these um, obstacles or opposition that I talk about is some things that I went through that that has killed many. And um, so I just wanted to write a book to encourage people and share with them some of the things I went through, such as um, being diagnosed with cancer at an early age and um, dealing with suicidal thoughts and attempts and depression and being bullied and um, growing up in a single-parent home and um, being sent to a group home. 
all these different things, church hurt, um, bad relationships, all these different things that I went through that others go through, and um, but I overcame them um, yes. by God's grace. Um, even uh, I even touch on, you know, going off to college and um, on a scholarship, and I lost my scholarship. So I had to come home and get myself together, um, and then I reapplied and got the scholarship. Again, I went to another school. Um, so now I hold um, four degrees. I didn't let me losing my scholarship stop me. Um, now I hold four degrees and I'm looking forward to getting another one in the future. But based on all the oppositions that were against me, the trials and tribulations, I never stopped going. And um, that is the purpose of the book. Um, in this topic, no matter what you go through in life, God's grace will see you through to keep on keeping on. You just don't give up. You can't give up. Um, you know, suicidal thoughts and attempts is very rapid in our um, world today. And, you know, I suffered from that very badly, um, very badly in depression. But, um, you know, I tried to take my life many times. But God saw fit to keep me in spite of that, and um, because he kept me, I got to share it with the world and encourage them to keep going, keep fighting, keep pressing, um, because God loves you, and um, he will see you through. Better days are coming. Better days are ahead. The best is yet to come. You just got to believe it, believe it, and you know, I had to start waking up and um, doing affirmations, you know. You are king. You are handsome. You yeah. are smart. So, you know, it's, um, I just thank God um, that I was able to o overcome so many things, um, and yet I'm still here to share it and encourage those who may be going through the same things that I went through. So... Um, that is our topic, overcoming opposition, and I pray it blesses you and encourages you to keep on keeping on. Back to you, Apostle Ross. Amen. Kingdom, our topic of discussion for this episode is overcoming opposition. And Kingdom, the meaning of opposition is to act, to resist, either by physical means, by arguments, or other means. And the Bible opposition is the lot of all whom God employs to present truths, especially truths that are applicable to our times, as you were just speaking from, meaning we in the kingdom don't have to be in the wrong to encounter opposition. You can be a prophet of God declaring the word of the Lord God and face much opposition. Kingdom, many of the prophets of old, including most of the disciples, faced death for declaring the truth and righteousness and the word of God. That's one of the reasons Yeshua, Jesus, came and endured the cross, which lets us know that if the Son of the living God faced execution for treason, which is preposterous, that the holy and righteous Son of the living God, which was born fully God and fully man, can be guilty of treason. However, the Bible declares that all who live godly shall suffer some sort of opposition. But what we must understand is since the resurrection God and Yeshua Jesus, they left us a excellent road map for all to understand that because of the curse of sin is the reason we face that opposition. Yes, the scripture declares that to live is Christ and to die is gain, but let's be careful to stay in the will of God and in the divine timing of God so that the enemy does not deceive us out of completing our purpose. 
kingdom, that's how we become overcomers because on the day of the resurrection, it was declared officially by God that we overcome. Come, kingdom, the term overcome derives from the Greek word nikau, which means to conquer, prevail, triumph, abound, prove, reign, and succeed. Kingdom being an overcomer is what the Christ relationship filled life is all about. And it's what we have been sanctified, anointed, taught, appointed, and instructed to do through the word of God. The Bible declares that the overcomers are the one who will inherit the kingdom of God because they are able to produce and reproduce works of the Spirit and works of love in their lives here and now. We as overcomers overcome because we choose God above all else and we train ourselves to choose to choose the pleasures of the Spirit over the pleasures of the flesh. First John 5 and 4 declares, For whosoever is born of God overcome the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So kingdom, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written which no man knoweth, save he he that receiveth it. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death kingdom. Please allow God the Holy Spirit to be your lead and guide. Please understand they valued not their life into this world to the extent of meeting death before its time for the sake of giving giving their testimony kingdom in virtue of the word to which they bore witness to it, meaning our victory of dependence and of obedience on God and our testimony becomes a power and a treasure. Faith gives it its force and molds the heroism of those who in their love of Christ in faith and obedience overcomes all opposition. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, amen. Brother Izzard, please give the final words on our topic of discussion, overcoming opposition. Amen. Um, overcoming opposition. Um, just remember that we're all going to go through ups and downs and trials and tribulations, but it's how we bounce back from it. Um, Don, Donnie McClurkin has a song, We Fall Down But We Get Up. So no matter yes. what uh, makes you fall down, get back up and keep on keeping on. And remember, no matter what this life throws at you, you can overcome it by God's grace. Amen. Brother Darrell Izzard, please, sir, introduce yourself to the kingdom. I am Daryl Izzard, and um, you can um, follow me on my Facebook, Daryl Izzard, Instagram, Daryl Izzard1914. Um, my email is izzardderyl36 at gmail.com. Um, just, uh, I would love to connect with you and, you know, for booking or anything like that, you can contact me on my social medias or my email as well. Um, Daryl is D-A-R-R-E-L-L. Izzard is I-Z-A-R-D. Amen. And please tell us about the music being featured during our podcast, Don't Give Up on God. So Don't Give Up on God came um, during COVID season. Um, you know, so many of us were down and 
out and, you know, God gave me this song, Don't Give Up on God because he won't give up on you. Um, so we got to keep on keeping on. Um, it's, it talks about, you know, I, I felt like giving up, but I didn't. I thought about giving up, but I didn't. Testing trials came, but I didn't. So, you know, all these different things that come, but I didn't. So um, I hope it blesses you. Um, it is uh, on all streaming platforms, wherever you get your music. And um, we love, I hope it blesses you. It's been blessing people. I've been hearing testimonies. So I hope it blesses you guys as well and reminds you don't to get, give up. And how may the kingdom support your ministry and purchase your books? So you can support me by um, buying my book on um, Amazon, uh, Walmart website, um, and the it, it Libris website. It Libris is X L I B R S. Or you can just inbox me and tell tell me that you want a signed book copy, and I will um, sign it for you and and mail it out to you um, for booking as well. You can um, contact me in my inbox, and um, I will um, connect with you and see what we can do to get me to come to you to speak or teach or book tour, whatever you would like. Amen. And Kingdom, the music of Daryl Izzard is in loca- is in rotation on Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, including the iHeartRadio app on your Roku, Spotify, Alexa, and YouTube. You may download episodes from www.speaker.com. Please don't forget the apostrophe and Let's. We are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time from KingdomInfluencersBroadcast.com and at 11 a.m. every Saturday from SensationalSoundsRadio.net. Stream us 24-7 from the weekend channel dot TV. Please write to us at Let's Talk to the Lord at Yahoo.com. Please follow us on X.com at Ross Apostle. Please visit our website, Let's Talk Talk to the Lord Radio dot international. Please download our app on your Play Store for your cell phones found under Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. Kingdom, you may now ask Alexa to play Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International and Alexa will play Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, Let's Talk to the Lord is your 24-hour radio station for talk shows, gospel news, radio interviews, and Christian music on Amazon order our book spiritual guidance through Alzheimer's disease authored by my sister Kimberly V Porter all of my music are available on Amazon and all digital stores Lord give me another chance featuring Sean E Scales and Tamara Lloyd is found under Apostle John E Ross and remember now thy creator featuring King David the vessel a new duel in doctrine is listed under minister John E Ross you can listen to our radio station on your Roku from the MyTuner rap. Then search Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Station. So kingdom, until next time, may the Lord richly bless you and keep you living your lives at the foot of the cross under a open heaven. In Yeshua Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless. Sometimes in life certain situations come and you feel like giving up. But I'm so glad we have a God who will never give up on you. Sing, sis. Have you ever thought of giving up but you didn't? You never gave up. Thought of giving up but you didn't. You never gave up. Thought of giving up, but you didn't. Give up on God. Test and trials come, but you didn't. Temptation.
invitation came from within, but you didn't thought of. Don't give in.